I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the small daisy stitch and I love this stitch. It has a unique looking uh, design and texture. It is reversible on both sides and it's very very pretty. It creates sort of a solid fabric. Um, the holes in it are quite small and uh, it has a little bit of stretch to it too. So it's just a beautiful stitch. Uh, so this stitch is worked similar to other star stitches uh, and, uh, and spike stitches and uh, once you get the hang of it, I think it's fairly easy to catch on to. It is worked in rows and uh, I'm sure you're going to love this stitch as much as I do. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'll have links in the description of this video regarding both of these projects uh, products if you would like to learn a little bit more. So while you're here, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out some of the other videos that you see there, uh, some stitch tutorials as well as free crochet patterns, and um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So why don't we uh, grab a hook and some yarn and we'll learn how to crochet this small daisy stitch together. Our small daisy stitch today is worked in rows, so you're going to start by making your slip knot. And you're going to work a foundation chain of a, an odd number of stitches. So it can be any odd number of stitches. Today I'm going to start by making a foundation chain of 19. There's 10. Once you have your chain of an odd number of stitches, you're going to start with row one, working your daisy clusters right away. But what you're going to do is you're going to start by working that cluster in your second chain from hook and your third chain. Then you're going to skip the next and work your final leg. So there's three pieces of this cluster stitch. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the second chain from your hook. That's where our first leg is going to be. Yarn over and drop a loop. And then insert your hook into that uh, third chain, into the next chain. Yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You will skip the next chain and then insert your hook into the next once again. Yarn over and draw up a loop. So you're going to have four loops on your hook yarn over and draw through all four loops. So that's your first daisy cluster. You're then going to chain one and work another cluster. This time however the first piece of our cluster is going to be into that chain stitch that you just worked. So right underneath your hook insert your hook into that chain space that you just created. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Your second leg is going to be into the same chain as the last leg of the previous cluster. So down here at the base, this is my bottom cluster here, insert my hook into that same stitch as last. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to skip the next chain insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, draw up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops. And that's your second daisy cluster made. You're going to chain one and you're going to repeat that all the way across and I'll show you one more time. So your first leg of your daisy cluster is into that chain that you just created. So just stick your hook right down into that last chain you created, yarn over and drop a loop. The second leg is into the same chain as the last, uh, the last stitch in that previous cluster. So down into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You're going to skip the next chain and then insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, draw up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. 
chain one and begin again. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. Always remember to skip that chain on the foundation chain before working that last leg. One more. When you come to your final two chains, you'll have work your final stitch. So your last leg goes into that final chain in your foundation chain, yarn over and pull through. And then you'll be at the end. So that's what your first row looks like. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. You're now going to continue working these daisy clusters, but for your first daisy, you're going to work into that chain three that you just created. So into the second chain from your hooks, there's one and two. Into that second chain is your first leg. So insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then into the third chain from your hook, Insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're then going to skip the top of that last cluster and into the center of the cluster, which is that chain stitch um, of the next one, that's where you're going to insert your hook. So if you look, you'll kind of see a center here of your last um, or not the last small daisy, but of your next small daisy, that's where you're going to insert your hook for your third leg. So insert, yarn over, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Okay, so you can see right there, that's where it is. I'll show you again. So now we're gonna chain one, insert your hook into that, like you did in the previous row, insert your hook into that chain that you just created, yarn over and drop a loop. Your next leg is going to be in the same space that your last daisy was finished. So back into the center of that cluster down below. You're going to skip the top of the cluster, which is right here, and into the center of the next daisy, insert your hook. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four chain one and work another daisy. First leg into that chain that you just created, yarn over, draw up a loop. Your second leg is into the same center of the daisy down below, yarn over, draw up a loop. I'm going to skip the top of that daisy and then into the center of the next daisy, work your third leg. Four loops, yarn over, pull through. So you're going to uh, repeat that all the way across your work. Now when you come to your final stitch, you're going to chain one, you work the first leg into that chain that you just created, the second leg is in the same stitch as the previous cluster, and then your final stitch is just going to be into the chain one at the very end of your row. So just, this is where your chain here, just right into that chain, yarn over and draw up your third leg, yarn over and pull through all four loops. 
You're then going to chain three and repeat that last row for the rest of your pattern. So for your first daisy, insert your hook into the second chain from your hook, insert your hook into the third chain, then find the center of the next daisy right here, insert your hook and that's your first daisy cluster, chain one, and then continue working your daisy clusters all the way across. And that's all there is to working this pattern. You can keep repeating that row for as long as you would like, and you're going to see these wonderful small daisy stitches coming right out. So thank you so much for joining me. I would love to hear in the comments, how would you use the stitch in a project? Or if you have seen it used, please let me know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.